So here's a quick follow on video from the one I did on this £10 HDMI video capture card, uh, which takes in HDMI and outputs USB. And uh, ABCD commented on that video, could you test this out on a smartphone? It's a UVC device, so it should work. Well, I know it would work on a standard PC because yeah, sure enough, it is UVC compatible. Uh, could you test if it displays and records video and audio to smartphone by using the USB camera app? Well, I'll certainly give it a go and I don't know how this experiment is going to go. Uh, so obviously if there's long bits in this video where I'm discovering things, <laughs> discovering things that don't work, I'll, I'll, I'll probably edit it to, uh, you know, you don't have to sit through all of that. Uh, but also I thought I'd point out that that's, that's why this is looking so fish-eyed at the moment because I'd normally use my phone as the top-down camera but right now I, I need my phone because I, I need the phone to test stuff out with so the webcam has become my top-down camera uh, mounted in the mount that I bought for the phone but there we go uh, so yeah let's, let's give it a go then so my first thought was uh, I've got one of these, I think, uh, uh, an OTG adapter, and uh, OTG stands for on the go. It basically means you can plug a standard USB into your phone, but of course a standard USB won't fit into a phone because, yeah, it's, it's not a standard USB. On this phone it's a USB-C, and then I realised, ah, the OTG adapter I had was a micro USB, not a USB-C. So I had a little look online, and I thought, well, I could just buy another OTG adapter, or this came up for a couple of quid. And I thought, well, this might be useful to me in the future. So it's a multi-purpose device. And uh, what this is, is it's not really any bigger than a memory stick, is it really? It's got a, a flash card reader here. Uh, it only takes a micro SD card, but you know, there's nothing on that side. Some pictures of this online show an, a full size SD card going in. Maybe there are some variants, but I've got this one. Uh, it's got a USB slot, standard sized USB slot. And uh, then this end plugs in to the USB-C, which goes in to the phone. Uh, but then I thought, well, I've added to the problems here now. I'm testing both this and this brand new thing. And uh, so how am I gonna know whether one's working or the other one's working or the other one's not working? So I thought, okay, right, let's test this out then with something relatively straightforward just to make sure it actually works as it's supposed to. So I've just grabbed a USB keyboard. I'm gonna pull this out of there because do I recommend rigging things up in this way? Absolutely not. It's putting way too much strain on the uh, USB connector on the phone. But just for testing this out, this is fine. And I'll, I'll probably just get a USB-C extension lead for using this properly. But right now, I just wanna see if this does anything. And yeah, keyboard fires up. And there you go. So that's working as intended. Good. Okay. So I guess this needs to go into this needs to go into there. There you go. And then again, don't rig this up this way. This is just as a test bed. Please, please don't, because it, it'll it'll probably break the phone connector off when anything tugs on it. Um, and then the HDMI into there. The other end of the HDMI lead. Where's it gone? into the back of this camcorder which i've mentioned before has a full size hdmi socket on it, which is quite neat okay so let's see what happens ip webcam okay well, that that's 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 interesting. So IP webcam is the app that I talked about in a previous video, and what's happened now is that IP webcam is, is one of the apps I was going to try it out with. Um, so I won't use it by default, but let's let's just see what it does. Let's see what it says. Can't open camera. Oh, that's a shame. Especially as it offered, <laughs> it jumped in there and said, "Right, I'm I'm having a go at this. Let me add it." And uh, can't open camera. Of course, I haven't turned the camcorder on yet. That might help. So let's do that first. Maybe I'm missing a trick. Open the lens cover. So you can see I'm just filming the bottom of my monitor at the moment. So maybe I've done this wrong. Maybe what I need to do is unplug it. Give it another shot.
No, okay. So I'm having a look in Google Play Store because apparently there's this Easy Cap and UVC player app that may work. Although the one above it is the USB camera, so maybe that's the app that uh, ABCD was talking about. We'll try this one first and see how we get on. And this claims to be able to capture from the UVC device. And if it works, it'll show you the calendar which has got yesterday's date on it, I've just realised. Uh, so, choose what to allow. Well, yeah, it's going to have to access that. Uh, okay, right. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be newest. Definitely a PAL camcorder in my case. Uh, Okay, so let's try that. I don't know if you press that. Oh, okay. Well, that's progress. That is that is my camcorder there. The phone. Huh. I wasn't quite expecting that. Now it's coming out with the wrong aspect ratio, but that, that's definitely better than absolutely nothing. What happens if I press zoom? Is that literally just... Ah! There you go. So there. Yeah. There is. <laughs> just to prove that it's it's actually capturing what you're seeing and then, you know... Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as for what you'd use this for... Uh... Not quite sure yet. I mean, you know, in my case, this phone has a better camera than the camcorder, but the camcorder does have a bigger lens, so I mean, maybe it's better. Uh, well, it's, it's obviously better at zoom, and, and uh, then you know, this hasn't got a zoom in it at all. So I guess there's a case for it there. Then um, I guess I can use this to record. Well, okay, let's record something. What's that saying to me? that. <laughs> uh, wouldn't call it the minimum, should be fine. Right, so, so it's capturing it, but recording's just stopping. Oh, hang on, no, maybe I just tapped it too many times. Okay. Right, I'll just record something then. And actually, no, I, I know that this is not picking up the microphone that you're hearing this on now it can't be it's just this camcorder connected straight to the phone via the usb capture device so anything it's capturing either has to be from the camcorder's own microphone or from the phones well there's a gallery of something let's try playing it in oh <laughs> it doesn't look very promising does it really okay well let's just try this one as a final thing. Camcorder's gone off again. Okay. Yeah, I can hear something echoing. Ooh! Okay, well, the, that's probably because the phone volume is turned up. Let's turn that down a sec. Actually, no. So... Well, there we are. There's a live test. So that's picking up <laughs> my echo. I wonder what was going on then. Okay, so that's definitely picking up the uh, audio over the HDMI connection from the camcorder directly. Can we... I don't necessarily want to zoom. I want what I want is for the aspect ratio to change. Okay. So let's look what have we got. Okay. Hmm. Don't have five frames a second. So we're going to go for us. Low. Oh, right, that's why. 
So, MJPEG, 1920 by 1080. Okay, so that's the right aspect ratio. So we've managed to get the correct aspect ratio. Uh, what's that? So let's try. Apparently it was recording, it just didn't tell me. Okay, so record. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do that. So that's the camcorder mic. And stop. Let's just uh, see if we can play that back. So that's the, that's the old file. And the new file is there. So that's looking promising. And it was looking promising until I transferred the footage over from my phone to my PC and, uh... Yeah. And that's lower than my voice will ever be in my lifetime. So I tried dragging it across into the video editor and it was the same problem, but it also was missing huge chunks of the footage as well. <laughs> Which I can tell from the fact that you don't hear one, three, four or five in that countdown, just two. So it's, it's chopped out huge bits. I think that's just because the uh, actual capture card is capturing in 96 kilohertz and the phone obviously must have been recording in 44.1 kilohertz as it says in the file and so it's just recorded at entirely the wrong sample rate maybe there was a way to fix that i i don't know but uh, it's gonna cause headaches that isn't it if i have to do a lot of fixing to the video files but okay let's move on now what is a possibility is that you could use your phone to stream the video to obs and it's a little bit behind live, as you can see, if I... But there's potential there. I haven't quite managed to get the right settings. I mean, I can usually get a source to capture directly in OBS using media source, and that didn't work. So I'm just doing a full screen window capture of a browser at the moment, an actual browser, not even a browser source. But uh, yeah, there's potential there with a bit of work. So we set it full screen in there. Okay, you've got a border around it, but frame rate is good so full screen in there. and it's so just a time delay around it but frame rate is good and it's just a time delay and in theory you could set this app up as a webcam on the computer that would be getting its feed from the IP webcam app on the phone and that's getting its feed from the capture card so yes there's possibilities there but uh, it would be a bit of a geeky headache to set up. I mean, you know, I am a geek, so I'm, I'm all for geeky headaches, but uh, it's not going to be a straightforward solution. So will the £10 USB capture card work with a mobile phone, or more specifically an Android mobile phone, because I don't have an iPhone to test it with. Uh, but on this phone, mm, yeah, maybe. That sounds a bit like uh, Principal Skinner from The Simpsons, where it's like, does it work? Uh, short answer is no. Long answer is yes with a but. I mean, it was showing up on the screen and it was capturing something, but in the app that I tried, the USB camera app, there were no options for changing the bitrate of the audio. And so unless there are options for that in a different app that you might try, then it's going to be stuck trying to force a 96 kilohertz sample rate to record at 44.1 kilohertz and it's all going to go wrong. For live streaming, maybe. I mean, I tried my Twitch app. My Twitch app wouldn't recognize the camera at all. Uh, so you're going to be stuck there really using third party apps at the moment, at least to try and capture UVC. Uh, but what the USB camera app has are lots of RTMP settings. So you could, if you were feeling particularly geeky, you could get your Twitch key, your streaming key, and put it in there and try it. But again, it's not going to be straightforward. And so, yeah, it's a geeky way of doing it and potentially a very cheap way of doing it. But I don't know if it's going to be, well, it's, it might not be reliable, I'm not sure. Um, for recording, as I say, we need some different apps. So if you've tested a different app that works better, 
again feel free to drop a link in the comments but mixed i think <laughs> in conclusion inconclusive 